And we do indeed expect uh, breezy and cool conditions for the Ravens game on Sunday. We'll show you the seven day in a moment. But uh, first, let's uh, talk a little bit more about Matthew. This turned out to actually to be a pretty good scenario for Florida, as bad as it's been. And there has been a lot of damage along the Florida coast. For the most part, the eye has stayed about 50, 60 miles offshore as it came up the coast. And because it was running parallel to the coast and the, as opposed to running inland, uh, the storm surge hasn't been as big as it could have been. Again, there's still some damage. I've seen some video out of Jacksonville, St. Augustine, a big storm surge there. But it could have been worse if the eye had gone 50 miles a little further uh, to the west. Now, that's not to say that we're not going to get a big storm surge along the Georgia and South Carolina coast because I think as the storm goes north, it'll carry all that momentum into the coastline there. You notice how the coastline kind of jets out a little bit. So it's a different shape to the coastline than down in Florida. But right now, the center of the storm is about uh, 65 miles east of Jacksonville and it's still a major hurricane with sustained winds of 110 miles per hour. Latest forecast track from the Hurricane Center takes it up towards the South Carolina coast during the day on Saturday and they still think it's going to do that big loop de loop uh, just south of Hatteras and then back down perhaps into the Bahamas as a tropical storm uh, on uh, Tuesday or Wednesday next week. It's a crazy forecast track. 69 in Columbia, 70 in Sykesville, it's 73 in Chestertown over on the eastern shore so a nice evening out there. The cold front that's going to push the storm off the coast is now pushing across the Ohio Valley. Look at the temperature drop across the front. 86 in Louisville, 46 in Minneapolis, St. Paul. We want this uh, front to be strong. Not much rain along it right now, but there are some showers starting to pop up in the mountains already. And as this front gets closer to us, it'll interact with a little bit of the moisture coming around the top of Matthew to the south. So the chance for rain as we go into Saturday will be increasing as we go through the day. Probably be okay in the morning. But some rain showers will be likely in the afternoon as the front comes through. And there could even be a brief period of heavy rain across the lower eastern shore and maybe Ocean City, depending on how far north uh, the storm decides to push. We'll keep an eye on that. Increasing clouds tonight, chance for a shower late. Temperatures drop back into the upper 50s to around 60. During the day tomorrow, mostly cloudy, off and on rain showers likely, especially in the afternoon. Highs in the upper 60s and low 70s. Seven-day forecast looks like this. Uh, Ravens game start out with some clouds, maybe some rain on the eastern shore. Clearing up in the afternoon, breezy cool on Sunday with a high near 68. Sunshine Monday and Tuesday, highs only in the 60s, overnight lows in the 40s. We'll get back up close to 70 again on Wednesday.